Good evening. Three simple words on a lectern to articulate what could be a complex legal process for British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak. Entering the UK illegally in small boats has more than quadrupled in just the last two years. 45,000 people crossed the English Channel this way last year. Almost all applied for asylum, even those from relatively safe countries like Albania. We will detain those who come here illegally and then remove them in weeks, either to their own country if it is safe to do so, or to a safe third country like Rwanda. Rwanda, a reference to a deal the UK made to send asylum seekers to the East African nation and into its immigration system. That plan is currently bogged down in the courts. The British Interior Minister admits this proposal could face the same fate. We are also uh, pushing the boundaries and we're testing innovative and novel legal arguments. The United Nations Refugee Agency says the plan would be a clear breach of its refugee convention. Immigration experts say it would effectively treat asylum seekers as criminals. If such removal is not in line with the European Convention, then the, uh, the United Kingdom might have to withdraw from the European Convention on Human Rights. Belarus, Russia and Vatican City are the only other European countries that have not signed the convention. For the last 10 years, our government has followed policies based on deterrence and none of them have had any impact on people crossing the channel. So why should this be any different? On Wednesday, Sunak called the British opposition leader Keir Starmer a lefty lawyer standing in his way. If and when this plan faces legal challenges, it's likely we'll hear more of that rhetoric from the governing Tories. Redmond Shannon, Global News, London.